Hello friends and happy new year to everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I lost the lesson file due to my hard drive failure, so I've been recording it again. For this lesson, we will use the latest version of Blender version 4.3, which has introduced some changes to adding add-ons. First, we click on edit and then we go to the references. Click on get extension. Then click on install extension online to download all the extensions. Because I already did it, so I will see all the extension here. And I need to just click on install to install each of these. Another way to install extensions is that you can visit Blender's website, navigate to the extensions section, and download and install any add-ons you need individually. So for now, let's click on extension and I type landscape and open it up and just install it because I installed it already. We didn't see the button of the installation. As you can see, I already created this landscape. So let's press shift A and we go to the landscape because I manipulate the settings. So I will get a model like this, hold down shift and middle mouse to rotate it. And the setting is pretty much simple. First of all, we need to click on operating presets and we choose goalie for this case. So as soon as I click on the goalie, the settings will be uh, reset. Here we have the X and Y subdivisions. As uh, you increase these, the geometry of the landscape will be go higher. So I leave it as it is, or you can type uh, select both of those from top to bottom and then release your mouse and type for example 200 but I will keep it as it is for this size I like to set it to 1.88 and you will change you will see that how it changed or you can leave it as it is Make sure to set the noise type to marble and noise base to blender. For the seat, uh, you can see if each time I click, it will generate a new variation of this landscape for me. Let's choose five. And then for the offset X and Y, you can see if I offset it, how it looks like. So let's offset it by point N69 because this is some uh, setting that I used and we'll leave the offset for uh, Y as it is. Then the size, let's set it to 115 and one, we leave it as it is. The noise size, I will change it to 0.69 and the shape is going to be X and bias to cause and the sharp is soft, which is okay. Let's play around with the distortion. You can see how the distortion will affect things. I will choose 1.16. And another thing is the depth. You will see that when we set the depth to one and then where's uh, depth of the six instead of uh, soft I like to set it to high to hard and you will see how this will change things for the display setting for the height uh, you can see when it's one and when it's two how it will affect and but I like to set it to 1.28 and for the offset uh, you will see if I offset it how it looks like uh, let's leave it as it is, as zero in this case. And for here, I like to set it to, I mean, for mi maximum to point, uh, or let's leave it to one, and then minimum to point 50. You can hold on shift and play around with it. This allows you to kill this sharpness and create the landscape a bit better. And with a height, you can, with a maximum, you can control 
the flatten of the high, highest part. So a uh, follow-up should be on Y, and for the H level, I like to set it to point zero 0.06, and for the follow-up in Y, 20 is okay, but you can just play around with it. It will affect the edges. So as you go further, the edge is going to be sharper. And then, uh, yeah, you can just play around with the setting more to get different look. For example, in the offset Y, uh, let's change the offset up X. You can offset it. And then we have the size. And size of this one. So let's set it to 2 and 2 as well for this one. They have the size for the X in the noise setting. You can play around with the size of the X in case. And then you can offset it in X axis like so. That's perfect. Let's pl play around with the X just a little bit more. And we got this kind of effect. Then we have the distortion again. And the height. Just play around with the maximum, maximum and minimum. Then we have the noise size. And now you can play around with the seat. Gives you different variation of the same uh, goalie that we created. Once you find something which fits your need, of course you can play around with the offset Y. Yeah, so that was the basic. Later in the modeling, we can press 3 and select this part. And we can delete them. Do the same thing for here. X and delete those. And now we've got a very sharp edge. And of course, you can select the back face. And just move them backward in case if we want to see more uh, of the flatness in the top part. So that's about how you can create this goalie rock or landscape. You can just play around with the landscape setting and you will get tons of other effects that you have. But uh, I leave it for you. I would be very happy if you could support me in growing my YouTube channel by subscribing and watching the content. I will do my best to provide you with the latest and most up-to-date tutorials and news about Blender and graphics. Thank you very much and see you in the next.